of over $59.5 million with a $34 million base salary. Ideally, they'd like to try to get a deal done, but the fact of the matter is Dak Prescott has got enormous leverage in the fact that they can't tag him and they can't trade him, and that'll be the biggest thing the Cowboys want to do. They want to go for the Super Bowl, but they can't do it without Dak Prescott's cooperation on a long-term deal that lowers the cap number. And this past week, the Dallas Cowboys went ahead yes. and hired Mike Zimmer as their defensive coordinator. He rejoins the Dallas Cowboys after serving in Dallas as their prior defensive coordinator from 2000 to 2006 before becoming the Vikings head coach later on. Obviously, they talked to a wide number of candidates like our own Rex Ryan, and I can tell you this, they loved Rex. They were highly impressed with Rex. Rex made quite a mark on the Jones family, and I'm a little surprised they didn't hire him with as much as they loved him, but we're quite happy that they did, and we're happy to have him here, and this will be a big year for the Dallas Cowboys without him. Mike McCarthy on the last year of his contract, so Rex has got security here. He doesn't have to worry about a head coach on this set being in the last year of his deal. I just keep getting offended because everyone tries to take you away from us, okay? It's, Nobody it's, does. It's, 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 it's hard. Oh, we love Rick. having you Rick. here. Hey, you I, know we have fight, don't you? Oh, yeah. hey, no question. <laughs> okay. it, and I, could, I can honestly say right here, first off, I'm not so sure that Zimmer's got that job right now. Not real sure about that. Um, I can honestly say I'm, I, I'm, I don't believe that's a fact right now. Um, but I'll, I will say this. The reason I was so – like this is – I've been out for seven years. I've never called another head coach or anything like that. I called Mike McCarthy. And the reason I did is because I want to be on this stage. I want to be back on this stage if I'm going to get back into coaching, have a chance at that. I think with this roster the way it is, I think offensively, special teams, and defense, and I figured I can make – maybe even a little bit of an upgrade that they could be right here. That's why I was interested. I don't, un, un, you know, it's funny how, well, should we get the, no, your team has no chance at me, okay? That, that's generally the case. I would only go at the right, the, the right situation. And if it's not completely right, then I'm not going. But this team, it is interesting because they are so close to getting over that edge, and that's why I think people would be interested in this job. Well, the closeness is on them. The problem is the defensive side of the ball, in my opinion. It's almost Dan Quinn, him leaving, I think, is almost a good thing because where did the Cowboys struggle and where must they succeed against these teams like the San Francisco 49ers, like the Green Bay Packers? These are teams that run similar systems. Those Shanahan's, okay, you've got LaFleur running it also in Green Bay. Green Bay eliminated them. I mean, it's, it's just a system that I've seen them have problems with. So the changes on the defensive side of the ball to eventually you're going to have to run through this system. I don't know which team, whether it's the Niners or the Packers or somebody, but the Cowboys have problems against it. It's obvious in those two games that they, they had against those teams. So hopefully Zimmer can have can have a little bit more success, or you probably could have had a little bit more success too. <laughs> Tell him, bro. Let's see. <laughs> you know, when, I, when, I, when I look at this, I, I look at the, you know, the problem for the Dallas Cowboys all of all all of last season and it, it, it was the defense and you know one of the things that stood out to me you have 11 guys and I, I forget I forget his name but I remember number 14 at the linebacker position mm -hmm. no, and no. we kept yep. we kept talking about how undersized he was and I said to myself okay that's like week four or week five but he's still at the linebacker position in week 12 and week 13 I mean I know there's some free agents out there put a little bit more beef back in the linebacker position whoever it is for the defensive coordinator they need to be able to get the best out of this defense you got one of the best players in Parsons and all of football but he fades out at the end. So, like I said, whoever that coordinator, you need to get the best out of his defense led by Parsons. Yeah, I tell you what, though, you got a great start because you got guys that can play man coverage on the outside. That's rare in today's game. So, Micah Parsons, to me, I mean, is the biggest X factor maybe in the National Football League. Your job as a coordinator, Mike Zimmers, whoever, would be we got to find some one-on-one -on -one opportunities because nobody can block this man one-on-one. -on -one. So <laughs> it would be interesting to see what's I mean, going to happen. You guys are talking deep. I want to go to the offensive side of the ball. And, you know, the Cowboys talking about uh, restructuring Dax Prescott's contract, and, and I think he's a fabulous player, a wonderful man, great representation for the National Football League. But at Dallas, they play for championships, winning divisions, um, 
winning 10, 12 games a year is not good enough. You have to perform at the, at the biggest moments. And with a 2-5 and five record in the playoffs, uh, it has to be better. He, he has to be able to galvanize those guys, get them to believe that he's capable of leading them to be able to, be able to play on this stage. And, um, and I, I, I need to see that. You know, the reason they replaced Tony Romo with Dak Prescott is because he couldn't win the big games. And I'm starting to see the same trend with Dak. We were over here debating Brock and his value to bring that back to this game. Would you take Dak Prescott over Brock Purdy, Larry? No, that, that's tough to say because you know who knows who knows what what, what Dak would do with the talent. No, don't give me your, no, no, your politician no, saying, answer no, no, right it's, now, it's, Larry. It's hard to say. No, no, I would I would not take him in in this moment right now. I, right. That, I would I would struggle based on what I've seen. Um, you know, he puts up big numbers, but he just doesn't make the decisive plays to be able to get over the top. You talk about Patrick Mahomes. There's never a moment in the game of magnitude when you think, is he going to make this throw? Is he going to make this play? Because you've seen it time and time again, and Dak has the ability to do that. We just need to see it consistently in the biggest moments. Yeah, you're not wondering that. You're wondering if the receivers are going to catch the ball yeah. like they had a trouble <laughs> with this season. 